Well, another one for today. It was released yesterday. We didn't notice it coming through, but it is here now. It's a preview of the hand tools and bell wrap consumables. Two things you should know about. First, hand tools like the chainsaw and your spray cans for doing the wood become independent items in FS25. Secondly, you need to stock up on bale wrap and resources because they will run out. But let's check out what they mean. So first up, we've got the hand tools and sheds. It tells you to put away your tools. Turning them into individual items means you don't just buy them and have them appear in your virtual hands when you press the appropriate button. So for likes of your chainsaw and your paint tins, you would just roll your uh, mouse wheel to select between them all. It exists as items on the map and can be stored in tool sheds and can be shared with your fellow farmers. I'm assuming this is going to be when you're playing multiplayer online, you can all use each other's equipment when it's laid out on the benches. So that's a couple of shots from in the shed. And if we jump across to this one with the forested trailer with the high up grab on it, it says that select forestry machines can hold your chainsaw when you go into the woods. Simply attach it by placing it in the highlighted spot. So we can see in the center of the picture here, you've got a little white kind of icon on the gray box to the front of the loader. And if we skip to the next one, you can see there the chainsaw now secured onto it. So it keeps it out of the way as well when you're working in the woods. Next up, we've got the bale wrap resources. So up till now, you've bailed like there's no tomorrow, but don't worry, you still can. Bale wrapping now consumes foil or net wraps. With that, we introduce one of our new partners in FS25, Rani Plast and their Rani Wrap series of stretch film for bale wrapping, available in various colors. As you can see here, there is the different colors. They all come on pallets from Rani Wrap. You also get them and branded ones as well from the dealership. So if we just flick through here, we can see we've got ones from John Deere. We've got Klaus, Case, New Holland, Fent, and Massey Ferguson. There is also one, it doesn't have a single screenshot of it, but you can see if we put this one up with the bales in the background as well, we can see right at the back on the right hand side, we've got Lizard as well. So there's all the major brands and a Lizard one if you don't want to stick to specific brands. We can see them all in here in the truck. We've got the different types. I'm assuming one's foil and one is wrap. I don't know which one is which yet. I'm assuming the wrap is your net wrap rolls, which is the ones, the smaller pallets. But again, I'm not sure I have to look into the, the screenshots a bit more. But that's all the information we have on that just now. So if you are going to be doing silage bales and not into a pit, you will need to keep stocked up with these bale wrap. It's not an add on now. It is now a requirement. Well, that keeps you up to date. We've got the previous video. I'll link this at the end of this video just now uh, of the fact sheets for today. We are a little late putting it up, but everything is now up and ready to go. Also, if you are keeping track of the Ohio Richlands, that episode is up not long ago as well. So take a look. We'll see you again next Friday for the next fact sheets or presumably through the week because they are starting to put stuff up kind of some point through the week as well. So we'll keep you updated as we get to know about them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.